hope we're doing good. I do. I definitely do. So I've got another unboxing. I do. And I am super excited to dive into this. But before we do, go grab a snack, something to drink. You know me. Mama's got her coffee. Cheers. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and let's get into this box. What is that? It's my base box from Boxy Charm. I know. This is a surprise. I didn't know it was coming. So last month, there was a couple of boxes that I got shipping notification on, but they just took forever to get to me. Now this month, I'm not getting any shipping notifications. They're just showing up out of the blue. And I'm fine with that, honestly, but... I do gotta also look and find out what the weights and stuff are, which is fine, but it's neither here nor there. So what's the weight on this one? Well, this is the base box, and well, one of one of them that I get. Yeah, I know. I anyway, this is two point one pounds, and I don't know what variation it is. If you are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, this is the base box. So this is the $25 a month box. And we get five full-size items. All of BoxyCharm boxes are full-size. They've got their $25 base box, which is what I got today. They have their $35 premium box. And they also have their Boxy Lux, which comes out every few months. All of the information is down in my description box, along with a link if you are interested in getting this subscription. Okay, let's open her up. Again, like I said, 2.1 pounds. And we've got a card. I'm running out of room here. Okay. The theme this month is Candy Shop. This is a really, really cute card. And on the back is a list of all the items that we're getting in our box. And I got variation 72. So that works. Let's see what we've got. And let's see if I got anything that was in the spoilers. Now I know that usually there's, um, usually there's one item in the box that everybody's getting. And I can't remember what that was. But that's okay. Alright. First thing is this container. This beautiful container. What is that? Oh, it's by Frank Body. It's a glow mask. And it's caffeinated. Ooh. Well, that's neat. That's nice packaging. It's a good size. And it's got a safety sale, so I cannot smell it or anything. But I'm not going to open it up quite yet because I've got several masks. Ew, my hair. That are currently open. So, Frank Body glow mask. This retails for $21.95 and it's a moisturizing face mask that is natural and ultra hydrating. It works to reduce puffiness and give skin extra life. It's perfect for pre-makeup, late nights, and morning afters. It's natural, cruelty-free, and only takes five minutes to work. Well, that's really cool. A really quick, you know, mask that's only five minutes because usually masks take a lot longer than that they're like 15 20 minutes so that's neat i'm gonna have to try that all right next is the item that i chose and it's by for sally now i've had a few um products from for sally and this is the quench moisture replenishing serum hydrate and refresh Let's 
let's see. Okay. So this is pretty. And this is glass. That's neat. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. And it's got like a dropper. So let's drop this. So it says it's a serum. Okay. Oh, I was afraid it looked kind of oily, but no, it's not. Oh, that goes right in. That's really cool. That soaks right up. Okay, for Sally Privy Quench. It retails for $24. That's really not a bad price. Serum that helps to replenish moisture with a unique complex of low and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. That's interesting. The staggered molecular weights of the hyaluronic acid are designed to help promote multi-depth hydration on both the skin surface and in the epidermis. Wow, this is like really scientific. It's all like high tech and everything. Wow. Enriched with replenishing provitamin B5, the skin's elasticity appears improved as well as feeling and looking softer than before. Well, I'm super excited to try this. I will let y'all know what mama thinks. Definitely. I'm excited I picked that. Okay. Next, I got... Okay, from Grown Alchemist, Biological Beauty. Wow, this is like a techie box here. Matte Balancing Moisturizer, Ikea Berry, Barago. Okay, here's what it looks like. This packaging, look at all the words on there. I mean, and it's a good size. Grown Alchemist. Ooh, this retails for $69. It's a lightweight moisturizer that hydrates facial skin while balancing the skin's oil levels, leaving skin with a matte finish and increased clarity. Well, considering I've got oily skin, this might be really good for me, especially to use in the mornings before I put my makeup on to have a moisturizer that actually helps to control the oil in my skin. It's got like a metal safety seal. I'm gonna pop that. Okay, so it looks like a normal moisturizer. But the container is all like metal. It's neat. Let's see what it says, or it does see what it does. Okay, if the moisturizer itself feels really, really nice and it's absorbing, awesome. And I wanna say it doesn't smell, but it does kind of smell. And it doesn't, but it's not a good smell. Oh, that's kind of weird. All right. I mean, I like it though, especially if it's good for oil control. Yeah, I need that. Definitely. Okay, let's keep moving. Next, Ace Beauty Lip Pencil Duo. That's cute packaging. All right, fingers crossed that we got some good colors that I can use. Oh yeah. Oh, these are really cool. Look at, these are nice. And look at the colors. Yeah, I'll definitely use those. Here's the, here's the red one. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. Let's see. All right, they are twist up. And let's try this. Oh, I love the brown one. Oh, I'll use that like every day. Oh, nice. 
I'm excited about those. Definitely. Ace Beauty Draw It Up Liner Duo retails for $16 for the set of two. The Draw It Up Lip Liners are super pigmented liners that draw on smoothly and can be used to line the lips or fill them in completely. It includes a sharpener at the base that you can use to sharpen the lip tips. Mm, I didn't see that. Oh yeah, look at that. Neato. Missed that completely. Okay, last but not least. Pretty vulgar. Nesting bee face. Okay. It's a, like a face palette. So, I like that. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I like it as much as I do. Because I can see using like this color right here for contouring. And then this for contouring. And these aren't too orange. Now that's something that I'm coming across a lot with the bronzers and contours that they're very, very orangey. And I'm not loving that, not at all. Oh, and I love this color right here. And these shimmers, like the highlighters, ooh, those feel nice, look at that. Those are pretty. Okay, Mama's happy with this. Definitely. Okay. Oh, the names on these are super funny. Glimmer of Bees, Hush Blush, Ego, Son of a Bee, <laughs> Mirror Mirror, and Sun Kissed Snitch. That's funny. Definition of nesting bee face. It's a noun. When you've had a resting bee face since birth. Yeah, that kind of sounds like me. I don't know, sort of. <laughs> okay, what's the card say about this palette? Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bee Face Palette retails for $32. Do, 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 do. It offers a beautiful selection of rosy blushes, sun-kissed bronzers, and creamy glowing highlighters. These must have buildable shades, deliver great color payoff, and blend out like a dream. They're de developed, ooh, talk much, for a wide range of skin tones and perfect for contouring your face. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. Okay, cool. Well, I, Mama done got her calculator here. So uno momento, I'm gonna go add these up. I'll be right back. Alrighty, added everything up and we are at the total box value is 162.95. So technically like 163 bucks for a $25 box, which honestly, I think that's really good. I'm, I'm happy with the box. I, I got several, several things that I do really, really like and that I'll definitely use. I am not sure when I'm going to crack open this mask only because I do have several open right now. But, um, considering it's only a five minute mask, I may actually use it sooner rather than later. But those lip liners and the moisturizers, especially that matte one, and then the first, yeah, actually, I'm, I am really, really happy with the box. I, I will use everything in it. And that's kind of rare. Usually with my boxes, there's almost always something that I throw in for a giveaway that, you know, I put aside to add to my giveaway pile, but not in this box. I'm actually going to use everything. That's kind of surprising. Cheers. So yeah, pretty good month for the October 2020 Boxy Charm Base Box. Not bad at all. So yeah, let me know what you think. Did you get your box yet? Do you know what you're getting? definitely let me know. Let me know down in the comments what variation you got and um, 
also if you remember what your choice was. Did you choose the same things as me? Let me know. I'd love to hear. So that is my base box for October 2020. And like I said before, I should be getting another one or two. I don't know. But thanks as always for coming to hang out with me. I do appreciate it. I do, I do. And uh, yeah. Have a great weekend. Definitely. Let me know if you've got any plans. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys so, so much for coming to hang out. And I will talk to y'all soon. Love ya. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.